right? We're hanging out in Miami for a week. I'm almost at the end of the MacArthur Causeway, right underneath this Metro rail line. We're on May 26, 2012, right underneath this Metro rail station or platform. This empty lot used to be the Miami Herald building. They had a camera mounted on the side. They recorded all the craziness that took place that day. I don't think there's anybody out there that hasn't heard of it. Some call it the Miami cannibal case. Some call it the Miami zombie case. But on that day, May 26, 2012, 31-year-old Rudy Eugene, his car broke down on the other end of the MacArthur Causeway. He stood by his car for about 20, 30 minutes. All that can be seen on um, security cameras were mounted outside of buildings on that side of the bridge. And then eventually he started walking across the bridge. He took the walk all the way down to this end of the bridge, stripping off his clothes along the way. And by the time he got here, right underneath the Metro Rail platform, there was a homeless guy 65 year old Ronald Popo who was laying down sleeping right around here and on the cameras that were mounted on the side of the no longer here Miami Herald building you could see um, Rudy Eugene the guy that had come walking across the bridge walk right past him take a few steps and come back and just for no reason apparently just started beating him kicking him punching him and after a few minutes of beating him, he started biting him. All that's on camera. And it appears that maybe somebody that monitors the cameras inside the Miami Herald building, that the angle that they have just showed the very corner. Metro Rail, game on. And then the rest of the camera angle shows down to that side of the bridge. After about five, 10 minutes of it, the camera pans over and zooms in right here where Rudy Eugene is, is uh, he eventually wound up stripping the clothes off of Ronald Popo. So here are the two dudes, grown ass men naked, and the one guy is biting the face, completely biting the face, chewing off the face of Ronald Popo. On the, on the footage, you see one bicyclist that comes by, and he kind of ganders over to what's going on, but he didn't seem to make an effort to stop it. But then a lot of 911 calls started coming in. All those are online, you can hear those calls. A bus driver or a woman called and says, there's two naked men here, they're fighting, and one guy's gonna kill the other one. But all that took place right here. It was a full 18 minutes that you could see on that camera that was mounted on the Miami Herald building before the first police officer, uh, the first police car came around the corner. He drove up from this side. He came up traffic the wrong way. Came all the way up, and he stopped his police car right here. The first police officer that got here, his name was Jose Ramirez. You can see him get out the car and start looking at what's going on, and was trying to get that fight, that craziness to stop, but uh, Rudy Eugene just wasn't listening to it. And you can see where he takes one shot. He shot him one time, and that didn't do anything. It seemed to maybe just anger him. The guy got pissed instead of being shot doing anything, he just kept biting. Metro Rail, game on. So it took three or four more shots. Rudy Eugene was shot about four times before he finally went down, he eventually died. The guy that he attacked, Ronald Popo, was rushed to Jackson Memorial Hospital in critical condition. There they said it was 75, 80% of his face was missing. His left eye had been gouged out. He was in really bad shape. For anyone that's into that sort of thing, you go online and see what his face looked like after the attack. So after 18 minutes of that attack, before Ronald Papa, is that his name? Papa, Ronald Papa was taken to Jackson Memorial Hospital. Uh, there was a lot of local fundraisers that took place that raised over $100,000 to help towards his surgery. There's also footage in a uh, interviews and pictures of him after the surgery you can see what he looks like now guy no longer has a nose his left eye is gone but he thanked the police for saving his life that day just wanted to come here real quick and document it 
and it all happened right here. I guess that's it for this video. And we are out.